I said Israel was born out of a dream. In fact, it was born out of many dreams, including several conflicting, contradicting, and even mutually exclusive dreams. Some of them, some of the funding fathers and mothers, dreamt about creating a replica of the biblical kingdoms of David and Solomon, a nation of toilers of the land and soldiers. Others dreamt of creating a middle-class paradise, a replica of Austro-Hungary in the heart of the Middle East, with red-tiled roofs and excellent manners and people calling each other her director and Frau doctors and a lot of Gemütlichkeit. Still others had a Marxist vision and a Marxist dream. They established Marxist kibbutzim round the corner from them. There lived those who wanted Israel to develop into a replica of a Jewish shtetl in Eastern Europe. Yiddish speaking, traditional, religious. And next to them there lived the social democrats who wanted Israel to become a modern welfare state in the style of Northern Europe. Now, what became of all these dreams? Some of them are still alive and struggling with each other and kicking each other hard. Some have turned into nightmares. Some have been forgotten.